Hello, happy Friday. I hope wherever you are that you and your loved ones are safe and well, that you're having a good week and a good day. I will not keep you for a long video. I will not keep you for a long vlog either. It is posted, it is short. This week it's just, you know, we're keeping it short and sweet. I just wanted to say thank you. I wanted to say thank you. Um, you show up every week, whether it's for the videos and the blog, whether it's just for one or the other. Maybe it's some days you can do it, some days you can't. Whatever it is, I'm so grateful for you. You show up and you make my rock backpack a lot lighter because believe it or not, when you're sharing this journey, when you're telling your truth, when you're telling your story and people are there to listen to it and believe you and hear you, that's priceless. And whatever your journey is, whatever, if you're dealing with health issues, if you're dealing with, you know, life and pain, emotional or physical, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's the act of showing up for each other and that you show up for me means everything. Um, because this journey can be very lonely. And I feel like as I've aged, as I've grown as I've grown my channel as I've grown my blogs as I've reached out to people and connected with other people with RSD um, and arachnoiditis and all the other crap um, it feels like the family's gotten bigger um, which is amazing because it's like you know what they get it I can talk to that person because they have this I can talk to this person because they have that um, this is this person because they have all of the above and it's like I'm sure you understand that, you know, you, you get it because you, you're dealing with the same things. And so I wanted to just say thank you. I appreciate you. I also wanted to share something. I put it in the blog this week, but I love the writer Young Pueblo. Um, I feel like their words are very powerful and it's very grounding for me. And sometimes I'll just pull the book out of the bookcase because that is like, I, it, no matter what page I open up to, I find comfort in it because it's very real. It's very... I don't know. That is, that's what it is for me. It just feels very grounding. But today I was looking for something um, and I came across this and I thought the universe directed me in the right way. I am not fully healed. I am not fully wise. I am still on my way. What matters is that I am moving forward. I am still on my way. You are still on your way. Uh, as the song says, the rest is still unwritten. We are books that are not finished. We are constantly revising and editing our lives, making changes, changing jobs, you know, dealing with family, dealing with friends, dealing with whatever, health, you know what I'm talking about. But we're all moving forward. Um, so, you know, sometimes unwillingly because the future is going to happen. You got to just keep moving. Um, I have two doctor's appointment this week, appointments this week. Um, I'm seeing my pain management doc, um, and I have to tell him that my back is locking every day and multiple times a day. And that's new and bad at the same time. Um, and I'm going to have to deal with that. I don't know if it's going to be injections or what, but I'm going to have to deal with it. Um, I'm going back for the sonogram to get that, you know, clarification done. And I have to deal with it. And I decided last week not to freak out because... It's probably nothing. It's probably just like last time, a clarification. But no matter what, I've got to just roll with it and go with it. I am still on my way. And I wish that for each of you, whatever you're dealing with, whatever's hard today, um, I hope that you can... We can't change it. We can't undo it. We can't do anything. Take the rock, put it down for a minute. Because you know what? It'll still be there. <laughs> It'll still be there. Um, and so I hope that you can take a minute, be kind to yourself today and every day, um, and just remember that you're not alone. You know, we're all here for each other. Um, you never know what a kind word will do for somebody else. Uh, it could change their entire day. And I truly believe that. And so that is my wish for you this week, um, that you give yourself the break and say, you know, I'm not fully wise. I mean, come on, we know that already. I'm not fully wise. I'm not fully healed. I will never be fully healed. There is no cure for any of this stuff. So it's like, I just kind of have to roll with it and say, you know, I'm 48 years old. I've been dealing with this since I was uh, 25. You know, I'm, I've got to just go with it and take care of myself as best I can, do the best I can, um, ask for help when I can. I know that's hard because I don't ask for help all the time, but ask for it when I need it. Um, you know, and and do what we can. That's all we can do. 
um, what matters is that we are always moving forward. And so I wish that for each of you, take a rock out of your backpack, put it down, it'll be there when you get back. We've all got to deal with it. Be kind to yourself. Take a deep breath and know that you're not alone and that I am so grateful for each of you. Wherever you are, I hope you have a low pain, no pain, low aggravation, no aggravation kind of a day, kind of a week, and kind of a weekend because that is what we always hope for and that, I believe, is what we truly deserve. Even if it's just for an hour, I believe everybody deserves to have peace. Um, so I will, the blog is up. It's a miracle. I'm telling you, it's a miracle. I was afraid that the leftovers would put my brain, you know, make my brain more tired than it already is and I'd be like, I'll post it. No, I'd fall asleep. Forget it. Forget it. So have a good rest of the day. I will see you whenever I see you today for the blog. Hopefully you read it today because it's, it's nice and short. Um, next week for another video. Next week for another blog. Be well. Take care. Bye.